cold-blooded and evil. I mean, I know that happens in history, but it's so just, it's, I can't even believe we've got a government this bad. I, I mean, it, 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 trying to turn the government in on itself, what do you think their end game is? Do you think my analysis has been accurate? Absolutely, 100%. Well, not 100%, but close to 100%. Well, correct me on what's wrong. Fill it in. I'm sorry? Fill me in on what you disagree with or added points. Oh, no, I agree with you. Oh, absolutely, 100% I agree with you. No doubt about it. I'm saying everything that you said is about 95% accurate. Yeah. Other Any other points you want to add to this equation? I mean, how bad do you think it's going to get when, when this is being egged on by MTV and the rest of these groups? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a social brainwashing that they're doing for to us, unfortunately. Not to the people that are awake, the people that are sleeping still. It's total brainwashing, basically, unfortunately. It is. I mean, I don't want to see a race war, obviously. it's But the people that think this is going to help somebody to go shoot an innocent cop in the back. I mean, it's just crazy because some other cop in another city, another state did something they think is wrong. It's just the triumph of ignorance is what it is. It makes me physically sick. I appreciate your call. Kevin in Florida, thanks for calling. What's your view on all this? Thank you, Alex. Uh, so much. I want to say that we're me and my brother are really, really hardcore supporters of your show. And before I get to my point, I just want to say... We loved your cameo in the movie A Scanner Darkly. It was brilliant. Um, but getting back to my point, I'm, as a white male, I'm so fed up with this whole Black Lives Matter thing. I think it's totally hypocritical for it to be cool for black people to shoot white people, but any time a white person even looks at a black person wrong, it's considered racist. It's, it's crazy. And, and you, you, you know, this just hit me. That's what Obama's job was, was to destroy the real civil rights movement and the Christian movement to have reconciliation in this country. They're there to destroy all of that. They know what they're doing is going to make white people incredibly racist who aren't sophisticated. I mean, this is really cold-blooded. Go ahead. Um, I, I mean, I can't agree more. Like, just everything MTV, I mean, everything that all the major corporations are doing to just split race divide down the middle, I mean... You have white people that say they identify with black people. You have black people that say they identify with Mexicans and vice versa. And, I mean, the end game, I think, is a is a really, really, really bad revolution because I think so many white people, especially so many hardworking whites, are so fed up with saying you're racist because of this whole BS white privilege propaganda sure. that's being spewed. I think sure. It's well, I mean, here's the takeaway, and I appreciate your call. Of the whole show today, here's the takeaway. The system knows there's a revolution coming because of the criminal government, the out-of-control behavior, the mega banks being exempt from taxes. So they just want to make it all a big stupid race war. When the average black person is like a white person or Hispanic, they just want to go home, cook some steaks on the grill, hang out with the kids. We're all just people. And we got MSNBC and these criminals. They are damn criminals up there hyping all this stuff, and they know full well what they're doing. I mean, they defend groups that call for killing police. And then they turn around and say, I want to kill cops with no evidence because they know I'm trying to stop it. They got a 101 Hitler playbook where with whatever you're doing, you accuse the other person of. I'm just sick of them. I got to be honest. I can't get around these people anymore. I understand why Sheriff Clark is just so mad because... It's one thing when some nutcase or a schizophrenic goes and shoots some innocent person. It's sad. It happens. That's just the way the world is. But when you got orchestrated people that know what they're doing, premeditatedly doing this, MSNBC, Sumner Redstone, uh, MTV, these Black Lives Matter groups calling for pigs in a blanket, they are accomplices to the dead people. And I get there's some bad cops killing innocent people, and we criticize them. But that's that cop. That's that person. You don't sit there. That's what I... It's the opposite of, of Martin Luther King. They say they're fighting racism, but they say cops are bad, whites are bad, and it's pushed by the government and the media. It's supposed to be individuals are good or they're bad, not whole groups are bad. It, it, it's fundamentally tribalism. It's fundamentally ignorant. It's fundamentally stupid, but it works with a dumbed-down population. We just have to recognize how evil these groups are and point out they're accomplices to all of this. I'm ranting. Andrew in Indiana, thanks for holding. Go ahead. I got to move quick. Go ahead, Andrew. The fact that 
fact that uh, it was all clouded by all this information that came through, you know, due to the race war and the gentleman shooting those two uh, reporters. And then also, uh, you know, the fact that I guess his job was to basically round up political dissidents in Iraq. Sure, sure. You got cut off. The first uh, five seconds of what you said wasn't potted up. So start over. Okay, I was saying that uh, I wanted to call to the attention of a J.P. Morgan Chase uh, appointee. It was a general. It was an article that y'all had on Monday. He's the one that did renditions, kidnappings, torture, yeah. Right, so he was appointed to the bank, and now he's running around, I guess, basically like uh, running metrics on all the Americans probably because we know the bankers are guilty. And uh, Yeah, that's exactly. That's who's funding Jade Helm is to identify the patriots and the dissenters. Doesn't mean the military individuals are bad, but the people in charge of our military want to have a purge of the patriots. And, I mean, all I'm going to tell the globalists and the bankers, you start this civil war, we're not dumb enough to go out and just kill cops and military people. The patriots are going to come for you. And it's not a threat. They know that. That's why they're all running to armored redoubts in Europe. You're never going to be safe. I don't know what these people think. We're just going to lay down while they put us in FEMA camps. It's not going to happen. No amount of stupid race war is going to distract people from that. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say my grandfather got a flu shot in the 60s, got pancreatic cancer. He died. One of my great uh, dissident grandfathers was a commander of the Texas Navy. So, I mean, all the information you're putting out there, I mean, it's resonating with people. So just um, keep up the good work, and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll hang up now. Thanks. God bless you. The globalists are taking down our legitimate government. It's got problems. They screwed it up. They helped. We helped it, too. None of us are perfect. But the globalists sabotaged our system on purpose. Now they're scapegoating it. As if they're going to fix it all when they're bringing in something 10 times worse. That's what I'm saying. You want to reform the cops? Go out, talk to them, get involved in the community, become a police officer, run for office. That's how you fix things. You don't go and just shoot a cop at a gas pump. And I know my audience knows that, but that's how sick MSNBC is. That's how filthy they are. Charles in Columbus. I guess that's Ohio. Go ahead. No, it's uh, Columbus, Georgia. This God bless you. Go ahead. Alex Jones. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, you, are, you are spot on. And uh, uh, let me sum it up for you real quick before I give you a quick announcement. Barack Obama is nothing more than a black version of Adolf Hitler. That's all he is. He's just a black version of Adolf Hitler. And we reveal that in our new film, uh, revealing the mind of a tyrant up on YouTube. And uh, now is the time better than ever to go ahead and announce that film because YouTube tried to censor us twice. I wanted to let you know that. And we were able to get it up on the film. We're petitioning up against them, and they're going to allow us 30 days to uh, uh, reach out to, uh, to uh, for them to respond back to it. They took two scenes out of our film, and we put them back in there. We're now petitioning up against it, but they're trying to censor the Well, film. I love the name of that, Inside the Mind of a Tyrant. Maybe I should have you on as a guest. Uh, we're about to end the show, but tell me more about it. Yeah, Revealing the Mind of a Tyrant, that's the name of it. Revealing, revealing the, the Mind, mind of a tyrant. tyrant on YouTube. Well, folks better see it now if it's getting censored. I've had them censor me too, believe me. We've got the we've got the white supremacists right now filing complaints on us, trying to shut down our YouTube channel while accusing us of censoring them. So send me your film, sir. We'll check it out. Sorry, the other callers. I'm out of time. I should have gone to you earlier. I'm going to take a lot of calls on the subject tomorrow. I'm really upset because now I'm sure... They're trying to start a race war in this country to distract from their takeover. It's so evil. God bless you all. I'm Alex Jones, Infowars.com. Spread the word on that website.